number of things. One, I hate racism, period. I don't care what form it takes. Uh, I'm going to fight against it. I don't care where it comes from. Uh, I, it's, it's sin, it's wicked, and it needs to be addressed. Uh, I don't care if it comes from someone who looks like you or someone who looks like me. Uh, I absolutely unequivocally oppose racism. And simply because the, the, the new form of racism is now called CRT, that we should embrace it is, is, is not something I'm willing to sit idly by and, and allow to, 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 to take place. The second thing that it does is it saddens me. Uh, it saddens me to see so many believers uh, adopt it. Um, whether they look like me or don't look like me, uh, that they would be, I, I came out of, um, I don't know how much you know about my story, I came out of, out of a prosperity gospel movement. And so hearing the truth of scripture, I know for a while I was angry at those who taught me wrongly. And so when I see CRT creeping in, and really it's already, it's kicked the door down is what it's done, and walked into a lot of our churches, um, it, it, it angers me, but it, more than that, it saddens me to see people be captured and swept away by such a false ideology. So personally, on a personal level, uh, I, I intend to fight anything that opposes uh, the knowledge of Christ, uh, which this absolutely does. Uh, secondarily, it, it saddens me to see so many of our own people swept up and with the same heart that you, would, uh, you or I would go to stand in front of an abortion clinic and call out to the women who are there. I'm calling out to believers to abandon any thought process that engages or embraces CRT. I would want them to, to leave it alone.